Good evening to everyone. Indeed, I am very much delighted, honored, and privileged to receive this prestigious Conrad N. Hilton Humanitarian Prize on behalf of our institution and on my own behalf. I take this opportunity to thank all of you, the Board of Directors and members of the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation and family members of Hilton and everyone for having selected us for this award. And we are privileged to join the former Hilton Prize winners. And we are honored to join them and work with them in the common goal which we will be sharing in future. As has been said, Conrad and Human Humanitarian Award is given annually, but it is special this year. It is only very fitting that Hilton Foundation has formed a strategic alliance with Global Philanthropic Forum. The worldwide visibility and the recognition that comes with the Hilton Humanitarian Prize to Aravind Care System in the presence of so many of you, the philanthropists and invited guests, the very important people, and all those who are here, and will allow us to bring our eye care model to alleviate the suffering in many parts of the world, not just in India. And we are also aware that they are concentrating on the blindness prevention, trachoma, or the, the taking care of blind rehabilitation in Boston. The foundation was started with Conrad and Hilton. Though he had ups and downs in his life, he mastered and he became successful in his profession. I heard that only with the advice, constant reminders from his mother to have spiritual investment in whatever ways he is going to do. And that is what made him to work against all the evils which came into life. This story of Aravind Care system also is almost similar the Aravind Care system is based on the spiritual movement and spiritual investment with Dr. V. Had and spiritual investment on Sri Aurobindo and the mother. And all has been said, he had intense faith in them, faith and more faith, faith in his own capabilities, faith in the power that is at work behind the wheel, faith in the work to be done and the offered guidance, that is Sri Aurobindo and mother. So it was started as a 11 bedded eye hospital in 76, grew up to 4,000 beds now in five locations, 35 village centers and five managed care hospitals. And as has been said, we have done almost 3.6 million surgeries from the inception, that is in 1976. Last year, we have done about 300,000 surgeries per year, last year alone, and that is about 45% of the, our state thing. And this is what, what made him to take up this one, because of the 45 million blind in the world, 12 million in India, the government alone cannot take it, because most of them are poor, so we have to find an alternate way of approaching, and that is how made him to start this institution, but it was started as a 11 bedded institute. But having had this major mission of attacking 12 million blind in India, he had only very meager the resources, and so he had to pledge the jewels of the family, mortgage the houses, and because the banks couldn't give him money because he is a retired person. This is a retirement project after the age of 58 years. And so, 
the banks thought that it is the he is not credit worthy and that is how he had to do that but anyhow he was firm the challenge was how to take care of this massive blindness with the limited resources and that made him to innovate things which will come in the way gradually step by step if the patients are not coming to you you go to the patients that is the outreach you saw in the video film i camps and every day in day out at least 2000 i camps are being held per year and we do at least 100000 surgeries through the camps totally free of cost and that is what and also we take care of work with the community for the community and paying patients only 30% of them pay 70% do not pay and even if they pay they pay according to the their ability to pay it is not the fixed market price they have to pay and all these things are being done with the standardization of the techniques standardization of all the the modern management part of it and the outreach program which has and this led on to the business part of it though it is a service project but also we have to run this project for the sustainability financial viability the high turnover the reputation of the doctors who are working in the eye hospital and produced more patients in the middle tier people who come in large numbers to pay for it so large turnover of these patients who pay we were able to generate money so that we could take care of the people at the bottom of the pyramid that is the 20% of the entire globe people who cannot afford to pay and this was essential this was enough to take care of the people who cannot afford to pay and that is the the financial result last year alone we were able to do a 22 million dollar income of which only 13 million dollars as expenses we have the surplus and in spite of doing 60 to 70% pay i mean free patients we were able to and this money is plowed back for expansion and of all these things the quality is was not compromised the quality was maintained state of the art technology was maintained and the patients did not lack anything whatever they get in the paying hospitals and in private institutions and all these things are taken care by the and this was the concept of mcdonald's concept which was franchised by uh, dr v and which has been explained already it should be available everywhere affordable to most of the patients clean atmosphere by trained people and all over the world in nook and corner why don't we give this vision all over the main success of our thing is training of our people training of paramedical people instead of recruiting doctors with a high cost you train the school final girls for our need every year we do about 300 to 400 paramedical people train them on the job and the skills which, and then we can make use of them with the use of them for one doctor four paramedical people we can increase the productivity the national average of doctors doing surgery about 200 to 300 surgeries per year or even the doctors will be doing 2000 surgeries per year per doctor and that is the advantage of employing training people at an affordable cost in the school final that is the another innovation what we have been doing and the training part of it in order to maintain the quality we have 15% of all the ophthalmologists in india have gone through the training at aravind i hospital not only in india but also in the developed countries we have people coming from renowned institution from the developed countries even from united states they rotate through aravind i care system so it is a very competitive training program so that we can maintain the quality we can maintain the the numbers and uh, the standard of surgery 
But quality of eye care depends upon, for cataract, not just removing the lens, but you have to put the lens. But in 1990s, we didn't have resources. Each lens was costing about 150 to 200 dollars per lens. And we cannot, we are, we are doing 300,000 surgeries per year. How can you afford to have 150 dollars per? So we thought that we will manufacture the lenses with the help of these 300, 400 nurses which recruit every year. We train them and in that we have brought down the price to three dollars a piece. And in addition to that, Even with that three dollars a piece, we make money, right? <laughs> and in, we, by that money, we plow back, we support the patient to stop, I mean, start more hospitals and more. Having developed this financially viable, self-sustaining, affordable care and available to all, and this is mentioned as the Arvind model, it should be available not only in the regional area, but also in all over the country, but also the other parts of the world. So we started what we call Lions Arvind Institute of Community Ophthalmology, where we improve the capacity of the hospitals, existing hospitals, to improve their productivity. And thereby we are working with 270 hospitals in, the, uh, in India, in Tanzania or in Sri Lanka, Nepal, China, in various places uh, we are working with them and the, we have increased the productivity. So it is a global organization, it's not just an, a local organization part of it. We also serve in the policy making for the government, WHO, all places where how we can take this model to other parts of the world to improve the productivity of their swans. So we are finding new ways of working in the community, not only for the outreach activity, we are state the, the, the inf innovations, introducing information technology part of it, in the sense every 50,000 population we start village clinics and have the trained ophthalmic technician there, have the, the wireless technology, telemedicine facility, connect to the center hospital at Aravind. In that, we have got a good penetration now. That is the state of the art technology. The quality of service also has increased. Penetration into the rural areas has been very successful with this vision, what we call vision centers. Not only that, we also have the mobile uh, eye hospitals connected with the satellite connectivity so that we send it to the very remote places and demand by the ophthalmic technicians. They take pictures, images, sent by internet or by satellite. They are read by the ophthalmologists at the central and the report goes back within 11 minutes so that they will be referred to the concern center. They need not come to Aravind, but they are referred to the uh, concerned places for the pod quality. So this is what we have been doing and we have, as has been told, we have also gone into the research to prevent blindness. So we cannot depend upon the research findings always coming from other areas, other side of the, because the diseases are different, the, uh, the, uh, the environment is different, so we have to do research for our diseases, for our people, for our kind of, so now we are positioned to do uh, good research and we have set up a research institute named after Sri, I mean our founder, Dr. G. Venkataswamy, Dr. G. Venkataswamy Eye Research Center, which was inaugurated just last year. The one example also I have to mention that we are also working with partner as a Clinton Global Initiative for the Diabetic Retinopathy because that is the next which is coming up. We have signed a memorandum of understanding to take this diabetic retinopathy problem for the entire world by working with a diabetologist and internists and create awareness among them. So we will take it up with the other people, like-minded people working with that Clinton Global 
the initiative for them. So with Aravind has developed a spectacularly efficient, scalable, sustainable model driven by strong principles of compassion. But it knows, we know beyond doubt that we alone cannot do it. We have to do this magnificent work, the big challenge with the help of the other people, the, with the support from other areas. And we know ours like this, the prices, Hilton Price, definitely will help us to take the services to not only to Arvind, but also in other areas. Also, not only in one disease, but in all other diseases, just like the diabetic retinopathy and other, but with the added partnerships with other philanthropy groups, together we can definitely make a difference. It's not we alone can do it, we have a successful model, but this model should be, can be taken up in a very rapid way. Our growth has been very slow. From 1976 till now, we have been very slow because we have been expanding. We earn money, one floor. We earn money, the second floor. That is what we have been going for years together. But now with the support of this kind of prices, definitely we can serve more people at a rapid succession. And so that is what we'll, instead of doing quarter million surgeries per year, we can go ahead with half a million surgeries per year in another five years, or even one million surgeries per year for another five years. And so that, that is what our aim is. That is what we, our, the goal is. And as has been quoted the, in a video film, as Dr. V's quotings, we call it as a very powerful quoting. When you identify yourself with all that is in the world, with all that is in our world, there is no exploitation. It is ourselves we are helping and it is ourselves we are healing. We are not healing anybody else, it's ourselves we are healing and we are. So with this, I thank once again for all the support you have given for having selected us for this prestigious award. May we all join hands together in an effort to heal ourselves and the entire world. Thank you very much.